So six months ago, I made the decision to go back into corporate, have a full-time nine-to-five after eight years of being an entrepreneur. Good thing is that I had built my personal brand on social media and I had built my own platforms. What I realized is that that personal brand helped me get three job offers in one week. In this video, I'm going to tell you how building a personal brand can help you build your professional career and what you need to know in order for you to use it to your advantage. I'm gonna try, gonna try, gonna try. Hey gorgeous and welcome back to my channel, I'm Kupanish Manga and this is How I Do Things, the show where you send me your questions and I let you know how I would do things and I can take it as entertainment, use it as advice, take it, don't take it, use it, don't use it at all honeys, listen, do what you will with it, I'm just letting you know what I would do if I was in your shoes, so honeys, I'm in corporate. I work a full-time nine-to-five and when I was applying for the jobs that I wanted in the marketing industry I went through so many job applications looking at what do they look for what do they need and I looked at the experience that I had having built a coaching and consulting business helping women build their own personal brands and businesses online for the past eight years and I was very successful at it and my decision to go back into corporate was actually a really good one one that I prayed about a lot and I'm happy that I made that decision now one thing that really stood out for me is that in each and every single one of the interviews that i went to i got a job offer and in each and every one of the interviews that i went to my personal brand and what i knew about the industry kept on coming up it's almost as though there was an interview that they had before they saw me they read through my content there were conversation starters all over the place having a personal brand definitely opened the door for me to get into that interview room and I know for many people if you're looking for a job you just want to be able to put your foot inside the door you just want to get into the room because once you know you're in the room you can get that job so I'm going to tell you the five things that I've learned from my personal brand that help me get those job offers and what you can do to build your personal brand in order for you to stand out in your next job or career move that you want to make. First of all, let's talk about having a personal brand. What is it? Personally, I think that a personal brand is not about just being famous or having lots of followers or having people just know you. Your personal brand is your story, your narrative, meaning it's moving in a very specific direction. You are known for something very specific. You are known for having a certain type of knowledge. You are known for being a certain type of person. Repeated stories about you are being told because you are deliberate about how you present yourself in the world. So you can present yourself online, you can be a columnist, you can present yourself in different ways on different platforms. It could be within your industry because you do speaking within your industry, it could be online because you have a blog, a podcast, an Instagram um, account, or even on LinkedIn. I learned how big LinkedIn is. I knew that before, but as soon as I got into 9to5, I realized that my LinkedIn profile not only exploded, but it has also helped me to connect with so many people. So having a personal brand is about having a very specific direction, having a very specific narrative. So you need to ask yourself, what is my narrative? What do I want people to know about me? What stories do I want them to repeat about me? And then being deliberate and intentional about creating the content that you put out into the world so people can find it when they look for you. Because people who are hiring you, the people who are looking out for you, the headhunters who are out there are definitely Googling you and you want them to find information that is going to help you and be towards your advantage. So these are the five advantages that you have when you have a personal brand while building your professional career. Number one, it's a really good conversation starter. <laughs> you get into that room and people are really curious about what you have said or how you have built your personal brand. So whether you have a podcast, a blog, you're writing articles on LinkedIn, or you have an Instagram profile, whether it is about the industry that you are in or about a passion that you have, the fact that you have taken the time and the effort to craft that narrative is really fascinating to your employers. It shows that you are a self starter, that you can build something without someone having to tell you to build it. People who have fascinations, people who have hobbies, people who are able to build something on their own are people that you can also rely on to stick the course and for them to also get results. 
So it's a very good conversation start that helps you to break the ice in the room and talking about something that you're already passionate about and you're already creating content about makes it so much easier. It like eases the tension in the room when you go for an interview. And that is what I really love about having a personal brand. It is a story you've put out about yourself, but when you get into a room with people, it's a story people want to talk about as well. Number two, if you have built your personal brand around the industry that you're in, then it shows that you have not only interest in the field, but you have some expertise to share. So because I was sharing information about online business and online branding, and I had an, uh, an online learning platform, and I eventually went into the same thing, publishing content, talking about brands in marketing, it showed that I had interest in the field, but I was constantly learning. It showed that I was constantly looking at articles. I was constantly learning what's going on. I had my ear to the ground. I was interested in the field of work that I was getting into, meaning I was current. And you want to work with someone who's got that passion, who's got that fascination, somebody who's going to keep up with where the world is going and possibly see where the next trend is going and then be able to get ahead of the curve. Every business wants to have an advantage. And if you are putting out content, having podcasts, blog posts, articles on LinkedIn that show that you understand the industry, you're interested in the industry, you're keeping up, you're reading articles, you have information, you're learning, then that is an advantage for whoever wants to hire you or is headhunting you because you are a topic of conversation. You're currently trending speaking about this current topic. Number three, this is very important, especially if you're the type of person who's doing job applications or you're currently looking for an excuse to get a promotion or to get a higher salary. And that is that a personal brand helps you stand out from the crowd. People can look very vanilla. I don't know if you've ever looked through a pile of CVs. It starts to kind of all look the same. Obviously you split it between people who are qualified and unqualified, but even if you're not qualified for a position, but you have a personal brand, it makes you more interesting. Sometimes you get into the room, not because you're the most qualified person, but you are the most interesting person that they found in the pile of CVs that they received. So if anything, Having a personal brand, having a narrative that you've put out there, building a profile for yourself is one of those things that's actually going to help you stand out from the other people who have applied. And even better, if you've built that professional personal brand around the career and the industry that you are interested in, it makes it 10 times better. Number four, it's an advantage to your employer. Again, if you've built a personal brand in the industry that you're in, your employer is going to want to use it to their advantage. Can you be a speaker at their events? Can you write articles for them on their website? Can you talk to people? Can they leverage your brand in the business? Do not underestimate how selfish employees can be. Now, this is something that you should use to your advantage, bringing your personal brand to the plate to say, you know what? I love this industry and I love the job that you are offering and I think they work so well together because they are going to help me learn but it's also going to help get the information out there and that is what happened for me. The job that I ended up taking was one that I was highly highly interested in. It really aligned with the business that I was in before and I'm highly passionate about it so I really want to succeed in the position that I am in so I'm putting in all the effort that I can. I'm continuing to learn and I'm continuing to build my personal brand within this industry and using that to my advantage in the job space using that to my advantage for my for my position and the business that I am in at the end of the day if you can bring something extra to the table that's going to be an advantage to your employer that's a good thing if you can show that you have a vested interest in the business succeeding that's a good thing because there's so many people who are just chasing salaries but if you are chasing growth if you are chasing a bigger picture and you can tap into and you believe in the mission and the vision that the business has then it's an even bigger advantage for your employer because you are just as passionate about what they do as they are. If they are passionate about their mission and vision and you are passionate about, your, about the very same mission and vision and your personal brand is plugged into that, that is very good. And number five, it's a huge credibility boost. If you have a personal brand and you've been sharing your opinion, your thoughts, your knowledge about what's happening in the industry you're getting into, it is your excuse to show off your credibility. And as you are in that position and you see things happening in your world that you are in, continuing to create that content about the place that you are in is really good. It even creates the opportunity for you to move into other positions in the business 
based on how you can show off your knowledge and credibility within the industry. So never underestimate how you can use your own platform. This is why I believe in building your own platform, your own blog, your own YouTube channel, your own um, podcast, where you can put out content and put it together and culminate all your thoughts about that industry that you are in because it's a portfolio that you build of the knowledge and the credibility that you have on that one topic. Alright good people, that's all I have for you today. I hope that you enjoyed this one. If you have more questions about this, please drop your comments down below in the comment section and let me know what you want to hear in the next video. But until then, beautiful people, I'm Kapanish Mike and this is how I do things.